Hello from the other side of your comfort zone. This is Julie and Chris and today we're getting real about our trip to India. We'll uncover with you today five startling aspects that caught us off guard in India. But don't go anywhere because we're also going to tell you three things that we absolutely loved about it. And if you like our content, don't forget to subscribe. It won't cost you anything and it won't spam you, but it would help us very much. First, let's talk hygiene. We saw food vendors making food with just their hands and then taking the money with the same hands. No washing in between. Walking around, you'll see cows eating trash. And yep, it often smells like pee. There are signs saying no peeing everywhere, but you might still see someone peeing by a fence. It's pretty different from what we're used to. This is the first country where we cannot actually trust Google Maps for opening hours. So for instance, this shop is currently closed. Right now it's 11.21 and the opening hours are nine, from 9 to 8.30. So it should definitely be open. And this happened with so, so many places where we wanted to go. It's incredible. Yep, 24-7 doesn't really seem 24 7 because as you can see the bank is closed and it's still working hours 10 22 a.m so even if they started at 10 they should still be open and they're not how does this work Waiting in line? Not really a thing here. Whether it's getting on an elevator, entering a market or visiting a tourist spot, people just push in. Someone might jump in front of you in the line and nobody really seems to mind. It's all about getting in where you can. We're in a market right here, like two meters away. But as you can see in the back, it's full of garbage. It's garbage everywhere. I mean, I know cultures are different, but not preserving the earth. I mean, recycling, it's a far away dream here. It's such a shame because it's a beautiful country and they don't respect it. They don't care about their home, basically. Some of the shops clean in front of them, as you can see. But the garbage is still on the street, so... traffic here is beyond anything we've ever seen. The honking never stops and it looks like each driver makes their own, their own rules. <laughs> As you can see, intersections and road signs in India have absolutely no meaning. Like, people drive however they feel. And this is dangerous for other traffic participants and pedestrians as well. It's chaos! Attempting to cross the road challenge. 
this gives me anxiety every single time I'm trying to cross the road here in India. As you can see, I already have an obstacle here on the zebra crossing. Let's see, people are coming from all directions. I have no idea which... No, they don't, they don't care. This is, oh, yeah, I got a, I got a way out. Oh, oh, okay. Traffic fear in India is real. Like, I have an example like this intersection right here. What is happening is that people don't actually care if it's a one way or not. They just go all the way, like, look at this guy. Look at him. Like he's going the other way on the road and going all the way through the intersection like he doesn't care. It's his road, you know? Like, look at this. Cut. Oh my God, this is crazy here. So they just cut the intersection, you know? They just go through there instead of going over there and just turning around because this is a one way and they're constantly honking. Look at the car. Like not even the cars are following the rules. It's also extremely dangerous for pedestrians. This is pretty much the space you have if you want to move on the sidewalk. If you're lucky, you'll find this kind of spaces, but they're not very common, actually. And you really have to squeeze through. That's, that's a new skill we learned. <laughs> what are your personal thoughts about India? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to stay until the end because we're also going to tell you about some things that we actually like while being here. I told you that we're going to also tell you about three things that we actually like while being here in India. So one of them is actually food. Food is one of the best things that you can eat in Asia. It's one of our favorite cuisine around the world. and. In all the cities we've been, uh, Mumbai, Jaipur, Agra, New Delhi, the food is amazing. So that's a good one. Our second favorite thing about India is definitely the people. We met so many welcoming and friendly people who always try to help us with everything they could. From where to get clothes, where to get groceries, what to visit, what time, what events are here. That was really amazing and we really felt at home from this point of view. Through this video, we want to give a special thanks to everyone who has helped us during our stay here in India. Dhanavad. Lastly, something amazing, and that was the architecture. Places like the City Palace, Hawa Mahal, and Amar Fort are just wow. They're so beautiful and full of history. These buildings are old, but they tell you a lot about how people back then made such cool stuff. Definitely the best part of our trip. And this was our honest video from a European perspective about India. Thank you for being with us on this journey. And as always, happy exploring!